Hi, this is Kartik from Design School Pedagogy Algorithm. In today's video, I want to show you how you can do image in text in Elementor using dynamic content plugin for Elementor. Now, th this doesn't require you to write any code. It's quite simple. I've explained how to do that using CSS, but in this video, we'll focus it completely on doing it without code by using dynamic content plugin for Elementor. So let's see how it works. The text itself will use a software like Photoshop. You can use any raster based software. You can use Photoshop, you can use Affinity Photo. Just create a new template. It can be any template, it doesn't matter. You just create a new layer. It's a blank layer. And on top of this, just select the text tool, select it and type in your text. So I'm gonna say, Karthik WP algorithm. Maybe I can also say dot com. Now I'll use the move tool to move it onto the bottom. You can adjust the font size, font family, everything from here. So maybe I'll pick this font. You can select any variation of the font itself and you can pretty much do anything you want. So once you've typed in your text, all you need to do is in case there is a background layer like this, you need to click on this eye icon or you can hold on the alt key or the option key and click on the text layer. So that will toggle the visibility of all other layers except this layer, which is the text layer. Now we just need to export this as a PNG. So I'll just click on file menu. I'll head over to export. I'll click quick export as PNG and I'll call it mask one. And I'll save it to my desktop and just click save. Now, in your elemental dashboard, just head over to any page wherever you want to apply this. So, this is the page, right? I'll click on edit with elemental. I'll remove these two for now. I'll show you how it's done from pregnant. Just drag in the image widget. And just choose any image that you want to be used in your text. You can also pick this later, but I'll pick this sunset image. I'll click insert media. Now you can see that because of the dynamic content plugin, I have an option called advanced masking. Now there are different kinds of masks. And as I choose image, there are different kinds of shapes that I picked from, right? So there are different patterns of masks. There are also clip paths. So you can pick any of them and the image is masked into that shape. Now we want to do our custom text masking. So basically we'll be using that PNG image as mask for our actual image. So here's the mask one image that we created. You can see the transparent background. It only has the text layer. Now I'll click the mask, I'll upload it. And just like that, when I uploaded this, you can see the image being masked into this. You can also change the position of the image. However you like, do center center. You can also do repeat or no repeat. Maybe you can change the size of the image. You can do cover, you can do contain. See that since we're repeating it, the mask is being repeated and you can see the different variations of the text in here. If I choose no repeat, you'll see there's, there's only one mask. You can change the size to anything you want. Let's keep it at 100%. I think that will look better. And to make this a bit more interesting, you can add a dark background. So I'll just click on the section. I'll choose the background and there it goes. Now we have a masked image with a dark background and it really gets that artistic feel to it. Now that's one way of doing it. So basically we create any image. We just use text layer and we hold on option key or alt key and click the eye icon so that only this layer is visible and rest all become invisible. So even the background layer becomes transparent. If I have the background layer, if I export it as PNG, 
the background, the white color will be visible. Since I turn this off, it becomes transparent and only this text is visible now. Since we're doing this using a software like Photoshop, you have complete control over the font family, font size. Maybe you can pick a different font. Maybe you can pick bold italic. Right, I'll just click this checkbox. Now I'll just click on file, quick export as PNG. Let's call it mask tool. And I'll just click save. Now I'll go to my website. I'll click on this image widget. I'll choose select choose image. Click on upload files. I'll upload our new mask into this and click. And just like that, the image is now being masked into our brand new text field, which has that other font that we really like. You can of course change the image whenever you like. So just like that, you can pick any image. You can see how dramatic it looks. It's totally up to you. So this is how you do image and text without writing CSS. And not just image and text, you can do more with this. So for instance, you can download vector patterns from freepick. Just go to freepick.com and I'll search for a pattern called liquid. You can search for any vector pattern. And I'll pick this pattern. I'll download this file. And once the download is complete, I'll open the file in Adobe Illustrator. For this, you need a vector-based software. So given that you have the vector-based software, you can open the file. Now, I'll just hide the layers that I don't like. I just want to select this pattern. So first, I'll hide the text layer that I don't want. So I just hid the text layer. Now I'll use the lasso tool and draw around it. I just made a selection. Click on export selection and I'll export it as PNG because we get the transparency. You can see that in the preview. I'll just hit export asset. Now there, I'll do that again. Maybe it's exported to another folder. I just want it on my desktop. I'll click on this folder. I'll choose desktop and I'll choose export asset. Now it's exported. Now I can go back to my website. Under the mask section, I can close, choose image, upload files, select file, PNG. I just have this image. So if I open that, just like that, the image is not being masked into this shape, which is really neat. You can increase the size or reduce the size. Let's remove the dark background for now for, of the section. Also, let's change the image itself. Maybe we can have a more colorful image. Maybe I can have this image. And you can see how it's being masked into our brand new pattern. And it's really neat, right? Quite simple. You can do it with any vector and all without writing any code. Now, there's a downside to it. You cannot select the text within the image if you're masking text using this method right this particular text is also an image so this cannot be selected using screen reader so this text is often not readable by so there might be an accessibility issue with it but mostly you'll be using it for decorative purposes so it doesn't really matter you can do the image masking stuff without writing any code in this way I think it's really cool. Again, if you don't have dynamic content plugin, you can get it from the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.